The best way to engage a child in the learning process is to start with the heart. It's hard to learn when there's little self-confidence or self-esteem. And I think SEL gives each student an opportunity to boost his or her confidence. I'm going to ask you to share at least two. SEL is social emotional learning. At Bally Shannon Middle School, students are learning the essential tools it takes to be successful at college, their careers, and life. I feel more open to express my feelings in this class than I do in other classes. It's about building relationships and always knowing that you have a person to go to, regardless if that person filters into your schedule. I feel like I can share stories that like, with some people I may not share, and I feel like it's just like kind of like a bonding experience. Social emotional learning teaches things like self-awareness and self-management, how to manage emotions and behaviors, social awareness, how to show care and concern for others, relationship skills, how to maintain healthy relationships, and responsible decision making, how to solve problems effectively and make good decisions. But what does that look like in the classroom? In some areas it might be I'm sitting in a classroom with 20 of my classmates and we are directly talking about my social emotional well-being and health whether we're watching a quick uh, two three minute video to to establish our conversation for the day or we're reading a current event article and we're going to use that in our lesson right now at bally shannon sel meets three times a week and one day is committed to something called community circle Knowing student buy-in on the middle school level could be tricky, administrators were pleasantly surprised. I know some kids may not like always be in the best situations at home, so they can trust the kids in the space to like keep that to themselves. It's hard, you gotta be vulnerable. We sit in a circle for a reason, because when you sit in a circle and you're, you're open to everyone, there's really nowhere to hide, right? And, and we're, you're used to hiding in a middle school, it's what kids do. In Andy Jones' 8th grade SEL class, their circle assignment required each student to give another student a compliment. I didn't preface it with anything other than those directions, and each student gave a very meaningful, personalized compliment to one another. And then we had a conversation after and how it felt giving such a compliment. I feel like it's great for everybody to do in schools because it's just great for everybody can say, you know, look, mom and dad, you know, this class is making me feel I can be open and honest. We're asking kids to explore emotions that they've always been secretive about. Because usually in other classes, people treat me like I'm invisible. And in that class, I can feel like I'm actually in the class. Many kids retreat to the virtual reality they've created for themselves as they get lost inside their Xbox or PlayStation games. When they interact with each other, they interact with each other as if they're playing a video game, as if they're texting or if they're doing something that is, is, is not connected to another human being. So SEL says, wait a minute. It says, let's, let's try this again. Let's make sure that we teach our kids what it should look like so that they can differentiate between the video game and real life. Oh, in SEL, you learn how to be confident in yourself and learn different qualities to be proud that you have, to you know, accept your own qualities and accept that you don't have to be pretty, you don't have to curl your hair every day, wear makeup, you just be you. SEL says we still love them and we still take care of them and we still make sure that they feel safe. To me, SEL is one of the most important things we're going to do. It is what is going to drive our academics to the next level. Bally Shannon students are on the ground floor of this. Hopefully that will help them be able to help change our society. Learning by heart engages the whole child. That's the power of social-emotional learning.